Hi ladies, so I'm not going to beat around the bush, I'm just going to tell you that I got a BFN this past cycle, and I've been pretty bummed about it and upset, which is why it's taken me to cycle day four to make an update. Um, I had a 36 day cycle, I ovulated on cycle day 22, which seems to be my norm when I do ovulate on Clomid, um, cycle day 22 seems to be the day my ovaries like to work. Um, I had an appointment set to go in and see my doctor for Monday and discuss um, what our options are. We were going to discuss the HSG and um, IUI and Femera. I'm going to be honest and tell you that the HSG test scares the shit out of me. And I've just seen and heard so many horror stories about the test. And I think I have Leanna to blame mostly. <laughs> but I, I mean, I have, you know, Jen's. I've, I watched her video. <sighs> the concept of it just scares the crap out of me. So I don't think there's any such thing as a pleasant experience with an HSG. But if anybody has not had a horrifying experience with it, please let me know and kind of put me at ease because I do think that um, that test may be right around the corner for us if we don't get our BFP soon. Um, anyways, my doctor called me back a little while later to let me know if I would like to um, take another cycle or two of Clomid. She will be okay with that. And the reason being, yes, I have taken quite a few cycles of Clomid, but I've only ovulated on four of them, and she normally gives her patients... Um, six ovulatory cycles before moving on to something else. So, oh, my arm's getting tired. <sighs> so I'm going to be taking 150 milligrams of Clomid this cycle and um, hoping for the best. I know I say that every month. What else can I say, though? I know I sound pretty bummed right now, and that's because I am. <laughs> so, um, also... Um, I don't want to make you think that I'm sticking with Clomid because I'm opposed to IUI. I'm not opposed to IUI. It just might come to that for Travis and I. But um, I guess I want to take full advantage of Clomid if I can. Madison, because, and I don't mean to offend anybody when I say this, but if I were to ever do an IUI, I don't think I could handle the devastation of a BFN. Um, it's hard enough getting a BFN every month, just taking my Clomid and Metformin. I don't... I really think it would be so much harder for me um, to get a BFN on, on an IUI cycle, just because you put in so much more effort, and, and that's what I mean. I don't mean to offend anybody, because I don't. That's just how I feel. Um... So, that's where I stand on that. <laughs> if, if I can have more medicated cycles with Clomid, I'm going to take that offer. Um, so, thank you so much to all of my new subscribers and the girls that came checking up on me this past cycle. It really, um, it really made me feel thought of and um, cared of. So, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Everyone's love and support. Oh, I hope um, all of you trying out there get your BFPs really soon, and all of you pregnant mommies have your healthy babies soon. Um, I know now Amy's is right around the corner. I'm so excited for you. I think that's it. I think next week I'll probably I'll probably make like a life update just because I haven't made a real update in a really long time. Um, and I'm sorry about that. And I've actually felt like really disconnected from YouTube and even my YouTube Facebook. <sighs> I'm so detached from everybody. So I'll have to make like a life update next week. And um, I hope everyone's having a great weekend, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye, ladies.